Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday weekend. Enjoy the Labor Day uh, to all those that celebrate it. I realize um, a lot of you are from around the world. So uh, whoever celebrated, I hope you had a good time. Um, thank you guys so much for all your likes, comments, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, welcome to those of you new just tuning in. This is going to be a general reading for the collective, whatever wants to come through. Uh, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, uh, Twin Flames, Soulmates. Um, since this is a general reading, it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. So if you find yourself a little bit uh, confused, it's not making sense, it's not your reading. I do offer personal readings, so if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below in the description, as well as all the decks I'm using here today. Um, all the items you see, my Instagram information um, is below the video in the description. I am using the one candle today for manifestation. And I forgot there was, I feel like there was something else I was going to say. I'll be talking to you guys soon about something I just completed. I'm really excited about that to be able to bring that to you guys within the next week or two. So if you're new, um, when you hear me refer to energies, when I say divine masculine, divine feminine, I'm referring to uh, energies and not a specific gender. So even when you hear me say he or she, um, still that is energies. Just take it how it resonates. Also, keep in mind that the energy could be flipped. So when I'm talking about you, um, it could be your person, okay, or vice versa. So let's go ahead and get started this reading is about what's going to take place within the next 24 to 72 hours. I know tomorrow is the 9-9 portal, so it will be interesting to see what might come through here um, at this time. So let's go ahead and uh, go forward. Okay. This is the numerology guidance cards. I'm going to get three cards from here. We have 16, rebirth. That's always a really good energy. That's also the 16 is the energy of the tower. Um, this number can be significant for you. Also, uh, this is number seven. So this is a very spiritual number. So rebirth is something ending and something else, you know, beginning. So that's a good energy. Forty-one self-discipline that number you know can be significant it's also five fives are about change self-discipline so this is about being in control of whatever it is that you uh, need to control whether this has to do with relationships finances romance deadlines but there is energy about self-discipline And then we have parenting. Okay, that's interesting. So for some of you, this will have to do with uh, children um, as well, or your own parents, or if you're a parent. Um, so number 63 could be significant to some of you. This is also number nine, which is um, nearing the end of a, a cycle. Okay, so it could be some type of completion almost uh, uh, about to take place. Um, what I'm getting here with these three cards here is someone that this energy is around some uh, people that have to do with children or your parents. A rebirthing um, is a new beginning to the way they used to think. They're being more in charge, more in control, more self-discipline. I'm getting also this energy of, you know, being able to distinguish the parent from the child. Um, some may have had a, um, issue around that where they were allowing the child to be more in control, more in charge, like more taking control of the household. That's also what I'm getting here. Okay. So let's go ahead and keep going here. So this is the Kipper deck. Okay. So I'm going to get three cards here. Number 23. So this is courthouse. 
Um, this could involve a court case or in a building, a legal matter involving documents, paperwork. Also, I get this card when it's just something being brought to you physical. It could be anything, literally. You know, it could be groceries. <laughs> you know, so um, I've gotten this before. So there's two fives here. So we do have some changes taking place. I am going to get another card. We have message. This is communication. Another seven. So we have two sevens and two fives. Those numbers could be very significant to you. You may start to see sevens and fives. Um, in this month of September, this could have to do with September month as well. Communication could be coming in. It could be a text. It could be an email, phone call, something written. So I'm going to get one more with this around. Energy is centered around. High honor, number 25. That is another number seven. Wow. Okay, so spiritually, it's a lot going on within the next 24 to 72 hours. I can't remember if I said that at the beginning, so I don't know if I said 24 hours, but I meant to say uh, 24 to 72 hours. High honor is about award, recognition, respect, you know, paying your respects. So basically being respectful. There's other people here involved in the situation. So it could be multiple people that you could be getting communication or you could be uh, giving um, some dictation to a lot of people like, um, you know, giving some, bringing something to them via communication. Or you could also be receiving this. All right, so let's go ahead and get Three more energies uh, or three subjects around these energies. This is the uh, Quantum Oracle. I don't know if I show that. Quantum Oracle. And I'm going to get three cards also from here. Friends and colleagues, number three, people. So this has to do with people around you, friends co-workers, associates, business partners. Then we have number six, energy. Sixes are about balance, but fragmented energy is kind of your energy is like all over the place on different things. You're caught in some type of emotion. Again, like I said, this could be your person in this deep in the sea of this water, this emotion, missing a piece. There's a, a piece missing around the heart area. And then get one more of these cards. Fear, another number five. <laughs> Again, I just can't believe it. There's three fives and three sevens. So five, 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 you may see seven, seven, seven. Within the next 24, 72 hours, this could be some confirmations for you. So there's some energy about fear. This person is kind of at the ledge. But they're kind of like afraid to, you know, take the leap because they're covered in this darkness. There's a storm kind of there. There is this black dress this person is in. So this could be changing, though. Somebody's fear could be changing. So we'll see. This is my situations deck. It's still uh, sold out. But I am expecting the shipment to 
hopefully come in today or tomorrow as soon as it is available i'll let you guys know but you can pre-order on my site still in my uh, etsy shop if you're in the united states um if you're international uh interested in either of my decks wow this one to come out okay so if you're international uh interested in either of my decks please send me an email below and i will send you the link to order okay so this one to come out so we're gonna let it <laughs> so we have legal court paperwork filed so we have two references to court so someone may be receiving a message through the court something respectful or it's a paperwork that's respectful or requiring your attention your recognition or somebody is recognizing you that haven't haven't because maybe they're finally stepping into some self-discipline and a, a rebirth in energy, you know, taking control. So these friends here could be talking about this legal situation, this court paperwork filed. Someone, they, someone could be talking amongst their friends about a legal situation, either that they filed it, that they finally did it, that they took that step. They are exercising that self-discipline that maybe they didn't have before. That's also what I'm getting. This conversation could also be taking place in a building a structure. Because sometimes even legal could be just um, a standing building. But someone is talking about a legal matter. Okay. Paperwork filed. Something that they complete, completed. So there's two references where there's paperwork. So a couple of you guys or whoever resonates with this will have to do with some type of legal documents or involving the court. Okay. Since it is here twice. And so this paperwork is here twice. So before I go into the two other energies, let's go ahead and see why this is here. Um, this is the Muse Tarot. This deck. Okay. Um, friends and colleagues in legal situation, court, paperwork filed. What is this discussion about? amongst friends and colleagues about a legal situation why is this here wow you got the chariot okay some of you are dealing with a cancer this is about something going forward some of you this is going to be a battle a battle that you have to um, do you have to you know go forward with it there's a bunch of horses down here this is also about a victory and triumph. This is about maybe you completed some type of paperwork and it's done. It's been filed and now you're feeling victorious. You're feeling triumph like over the hard work that you had to put into it. You may be feeling accomplished and you're discussing this with your friends and colleagues. This is uh, my twin flame messages. This is also available below um, if you live in the United States. Um, from my site and Etsy shop. International, same thing, email, email me if you're interested. So let's get some more information about why this friends and colleagues, this legal situation, and the chariot. I'm wide awake now. Okay, so someone is very, they're awakening, or they're awoke. <laughs> they're wide awake to the fact that they need to go forward with a legal matter involving a court system involving paperwork this is going forward or it already has done it has already taken place or i should say is taking place within the next 24 to 72 hours you know however all my readings if you're new are meant to be timeless so if you happen to catch this reading outside of that timeline and it resonates with your situation then it, it means you know, it was meant for you to hear at that time. So I'm going to just keep saying based on the next 24 to 72 hours, though, so just to keep my focus. All right. So what is this fragmented energy about? Let's do this again. Entrapment. Pregnancy. Money. Heartstrings. 
So someone has some type of scattered energy here involving some type of entrapment, okay? We have heartstrings here. I did create this card to kind of, you know, somebody you love, children and things of that nature. So we have adult discipline energy with a parenting. So someone, maybe they are finally starting to get, get it when it comes to this missing piece. Maybe they receive the missing piece in this situation that was involving some type of a trap entrapment regarding a child or money or heartstring, something that people, uh, someone really cares about. So let's go ahead and see what this fragmented energy and this entrapment has to do. What is this entrapment? So we have the muse of materials. So this is about money. Muse of materials is the king of pinnacles in the regular tarot decks. So this is about money. Found uh, This is about foundation. King of Pentacles is someone that's very stable, secure, offers value, focused on the material world, if I didn't say that already. This could be somebody in a commitment to even a marriage. And they've been allowing this energy, this entrapment to take place is what I'm getting. This person is walking up the steps. They're going towards the light. We have this, I'm wide awake now. So someone is going towards the light. They're dealing with this energy of uh, fragment and missing the piece, missing the piece in this, this situation. Something fragmented, something I'm getting has been distracting them. Okay. Something has been distracting them and they finally realizing this, this could have to do um, like I said, I, I feel like this has to do with money because of the use of materials. But for some of you, this actually could have to do with a child situation because it does have parenting here and it is close to the parenting card. So let's go ahead and get another card here. Why is fragmented energy here with entrapment and the use of materials? I'm sorry, I'm not there for you now. So this is someone that is that might have treated you a certain way, okay? And they're sorry that they're not there for you now because they were focused on the material, money things, or allowing themselves to be in this entrapment energy. You could be feeling uh, missing a piece from this person. So this person is sorry. They're starting to they're starting to feel a missing piece here, and they might be starting to relate the two with this energy, with this entrapment. So yeah, this is has to do with someone that is not currently there for you now. This could be financial as well. Maybe not offering financial support. I'm also getting two here. As I look at this, someone is not participating in this. They're not there anymore for this entrapment. Because they have self-discipline. And they're in the energy of rebirth. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the energy around this fear situation. <laughs> I'm just laughing because of the deck situation. All right, so let's see what this fear is about what is this fear and why is this fear here what is it or why is it here on the table offer proposal commitment so somebody is afraid of commitment or some type of offer or a proposal they're afraid of this they may be afraid that you're going to recognize this maybe because they've been gone for a while they might be discussing this with their friends too. But they're afraid of commitment. They could be afraid of this commitment with they might be involved in already for some of you guys. 
afraid to take that jump. So let's go ahead and see. Why is the fear here? What is this on the table? What is this on the table? Nine of voices. So nine of voices is the swords. This is anxiety. Fear. So this is about fear. This is about nightmares too. This good, you know, energy, you know, you're getting through your sleep. Hopefully the light won't fade out before I finish this reading. <laughs> oh, I still got to do the extended. I see it fading. Um, yeah, this is mental. So someone could be afraid. They could, this could be an energy that could be changing too, but there's some type of fear or they might, this person might be afraid that you won't take this offer, this commitment. Some of you could be afraid also as well of a commitment, getting involved in another relationship. Could also be afraid because of children involved. You might be worried about how, you know, they're going to blend in or fit with the other person. I'm also getting that with a side, side message. So tell me more about why this fear is here on the table and nine of voices. This is also another nine. So this could be also completing or near completion. Almost there. So... Again, why is the fear here on the table in the nine of voices? Desire. Lust. Sexual chemistry. Yeah, someone is afraid. What I'm getting to is they're trapped in fear that if they make this offer, that it possibly may not be accepted because we have lust and we have sexual chemistry. So someone could also be worried that if you still desire them, do you still have that sexual chemistry? That's also what I'm getting. All right, so what I'm gonna do is look at the bottom of these cards uh, before I go over to the extended. So um, the extended link is below um, where I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into these readings. I'm going to see like who might these friends and colleagues might be. Okay. And um, what is a little bit more about this fragmented energy of what's going on? And then what is whoever this is likely to do? within the next 24 to 72 hours. All right, so let me go ahead and get the bottom cards here. We have great achievement. See, something was accomplished. Something was accomplished, or something is being accomplished, I should say, within the next 24 to 72 hours. It's a great achievement. It's an event. There also could be some type of celebration around a court legal matter as well. Someone might have finally took the step that they needed to do, face their fear. It could have been fear of losing this uh, person that they desire um, as well. Have this, you know, less than sexual chemistry with. Forty-six domestic harmony. So that's peace. Yeah, forty-six. That could be significant for some of you. It's also ten which is an ending. So something has end and, and that's why we have the rebirth card. So this is, yeah, feeling uh, peace at home because of some type of achievement. So some of you guys, some type of celebration, maybe you, um, some of you could have uh, accomplished something, you know, educational wise as well. So we have distant horizons. 
This is about dreams and visions. It's also another number nine. <laughs> Sevens, fives, and nines. Very significant for the next 24 to 72 hours. You may be seeing these on license plates, your receipts, all kind of different things like that. So this could be somebody that you've um, been in some type of distant, uh, distance with. This could involve um, travel like foreign countries as well. That's for some of you. Someone could be ready to like getting ready to land down that that anchor, put the anchor down with that number. So let me get the other cards here. Ascension, spiritual path, awakening. See two energies towards awake. There's awakening. There's an ending to something. Something good is happening. Uh, self-discipline and something around parenting someone that had to dealt with some type of entrapment is uh, energy I'm picking up the most here when I'm looking at all these cards in a legal matter involving courts possibly children this could be the reason why they're not there for you now as well or they could be letting you know this this could also be coming through communication so ascension spiritual path awakening Then we have the devil, number 15. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. This is about toxic ties, karma, karmic energy, obsessions, addictions. Just, there's an, an achievement here surrounding some type of addiction. Could be pride. I don't know why I said that. There's no pride here, but I guess that meant some. It just came out. So it could be someone's pride that came in here. That could be the addiction. Self discipline. They might not, they had lack of discipline when it came to a parenting situation, is also what I'm picking up. And one more card. I'm getting the help that I need. See, your person is getting help their need for their help that they need regarding some type of addiction, some type of entrapment, them not feeling quite there, feeling fragmented, having fragmented energy, you know, scattered all over the place, missing something in their heart. This is an awakening energy. This is a great achievement around a domestic issue, possibly par uh, parent and children involving a court system or legal matters and paperwork. But there possibly there's some text message or communication might be coming into as well about these things or about whoever it is that you're thinking of. Or you could be communicating this as well. Okay. All right, you guys. So I hope that resonated with you. So if it did, please like and subscribe if you're new. Um, again, the extended reading link is below. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. So have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.